Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Dude RV. I am currently at Union Grove Park on Stillhouse Hollow Lake. We're going to head to Fort Parker State Park over by Mahia, Texas. So come along with me as we go explore Fort Parker State Park. Park. Here we are. There is the lake. I had to do a sight shuffle when I got here. Uh, I was in sight number I think nine, but it was so steep I maxed out the jacks and couldn't get the slide open. So now we're in sight number 25. It's much leveler. It's kind of a shared sight. 24 and 25 are right side by side. Uh, it's flat though, 30 in water, and it faces the street. So if I had the ratty pack with me, it wouldn't be a real great sight, but they're not with me, so it'll work. Fly trap <laughs> on, on the lantern pole, fire pit, concrete table. We're just here for one night, so it'll do the job. All right, I'm gonna grab a bite to eat, and then we'll unload Little Red, and we'll go see some stuff. Well, if you're camped out at Fort Parker State Park, and you got a mess of kids with you, and they're driving you nuts, you'll be happy to know there's lots of playground equipment for them to burn off the energy. This is over in the day use area. Of course, the park's not just real big slides and swings and all that fun stuff. As with a lot of our state parks, Fort Parker State Park actually has a recreation hall that was constructed by the CCC. So we're going to go around and we're going to check out the dance pavilion. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, I'm pretty positive this was built by the CCC. Not quite as grand as some of them we've seen, but it's a, it's a pretty big dance pavilion. Definitely a beautiful lake.
let's go see some more stuff. We're down here at the end of the point, in the day use area. Just a, yeah, it's just pretty. Underneath the oak trees. This is gonna be a fun park to do the scooter tour on. Now the last time I was here, this building was the park store. But it looks like it's just now a, it is now, it looks as if it's now just a discovery center. Not just, I mean, it's a discovery center. The fishing dock, or courtesy dock. You don't have to have a boat. You can actually rent canoes, as is the case in a lot of state parks. But if you have a boat, there's a nice little boat ramp for you. I'm pretty sure this is a no wake lake. We are at the fishing dock. I have it on good authority that there are no alligators in this lake. This lake is, is on the Navasota River. And I think it's all within the boundaries of the state park. So you would not need a fishing license to fish on this lake. Good to know. No alligators. All right. Let's go see if we can get some into some more trouble. That oak tree looks like it's pregnant. A big old barrel. That would make a massive wooden bowl. Well, if you don't have an RV and you don't want to sleep in the tent, you can come out to Fort Parker State Park and you can stay in a cabin. Now this one has got the windows all boarded up, so I presume that somewhere there is an air conditioner. Well, maybe not. I don't see an air conditioner. I guess you could bring a little portable one with you, but you got a great view. historical marker here at the front office and it's talking about the Civilian Conservation Corps. Started in 1935, company 3807C, an African-American CCC camp. And they worked on it from 1935 to 42. 
built, built all the roads and the dams, uh, the dam across the Navasota River, and reconstructed Old Fort Parker. Re <clears throat> Old Fort Parker was rebuilt in preparation for a Texas Centennial Observance in 1936 and was the first of the CCC projects completed. They finished the dam in 1938. Anyway, I thought that was really, this is the first one that I've, we've been to where they designate, they said specifically an African-American CCC camp. And I paid a visit to Old Fort Parker or the reconstructed Old Fort Parker on the way here. So let's go check out that and then I'll cut back in later. No visit to Fort Parker State Park would be complete without a visit to the reason that that park is in existence. This is the restoration of the original Fort Parker. Now, Fort Parker holds a very distinctive position in history. It was not a, a army fort. It was actually a private church group that migrated to Texas from Illinois that constructed the fort. And it was attacked. And many of the, most of the residents were killed in that attack, but a number were taken prisoner. And one of those prisoners became the mother of Quanna Parker, the last Indian Comanche chief. So uh, because of that attack on Fort Parker, the federal government, the army came in and built a whole string of forts across the state of Texas. So this is a very significant historical site in Texas history. I just had a long conversation with the people that are operating the park. This was actually part of the state park when I was a child a long time ago. It is now operated and managed by the, the Tri-County area here. The state lost funding for the park or for the f maintaining the fort and the, the 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 fort itself was taken over by and managed by the counties now i i, I kind of think that <laughs> this is not part of the original fort not that part anyway unfortunately it's not operational they do reenactments and there's a old blacksmith Forge. They have all kinds of events out here. Uh, you can find them on the website. Ooh, it's dark in here. Gotta watch your head. Steep stairs. It's the blockhouse was the most important defensive wall of the fort. All right, this fort was situated just a short distance from a spring. So the settlers had access to water. It's interesting how the walls were constructed so there were big cedar trees that were flat on one side basically they were flattened and then buried in the ground about two feet and they were pegged at the top and they would have cross braces supporting that
Revolutionary Soldier John Parker. Would have been a, a rough life. Let's go see some more stuff. Just realized that I have a crack on the lens of the GoPro. All right, so I was wrong about two things. Earlier, I said that this was a no wake lake. That's not correct. There's somebody tearing it up on a boat down there. Uh, the other thing I said was, I believe the whole lake is is inside the boundaries of the park and that's also not correct so i stand corrected but i can tell you this the fish are not biting today they'll be here for you when you come here all right occasionally when i'm camping <laughs> i say occasionally just about every time i'm set up somewhere i want to burn some wood i like to have a fire so sometimes you might want to build a campfire and if you're camped out at fort parker state park and you get the urge at 2 o'clock in the morning to build a fire, well, you can just come up here to the front gate. They have a firewood vending machine. You're going to want to make sure you have a, a credit card or a debit card of some kind. I'm over here at the bridge. I was looking at the map earlier, and I caught something caught my attention. I see that right there? This is that's handicap accessible, and that's right there on... That's, that's that same trail. Now there's a bird blind down there that we're supposed to be able to get to if we're handicapped. Let's go see. Back across the bridge. Hold on, we gotta, we gotta jump the hump. All right, so it's, it's not a developed trail. It's not a developed trail, but it, it's, it's navigable so far. So we were able to make it to the bird blind. Can't make it up the step though. See, we bought them out. Needs a little bit of repair work done. There's another fishing dock over there. Fort Parker State Park. All right, I'm gonna explore this trail a little more and cut back in later. All right, the day is coming to a close here at Fort Parker State Park. It's a nice little park. Give you a little recap. The sites, uh, not a whole lot of sites that are really level. There's only 25 sites. Half of them are too steep for me to get level. The other half, if, if you want a flat site, you wanna be on the water side. A lot of history in this little park. Uh, it's actually a, a bigger park than you would think, but most of it is undeveloped. It's not a real handicap friendly park. Uh, you, you saw the handicap trail, not very friendly. Overall, it's a great place to bring the kids because there's a lot of open area for, for them to run and be crazy. I would come back to Fort Parker State Park. I'd like to spend a day or two here fishing and catching fish. Uh, with that being said, I'm gonna close it out. 
I got a steak to cook and eat. So if you've enjoyed our visit to Fort Parker State Park, hey, click on that thumbs up and share me across your social media sphere. Need all the help I can get. If this is your first visit to Dude RV and you've not already done it, click on the subscribe button and remember to click the bell as well. For those of you who have already subscribed and have been following along, thank you. I am very deeply honored. That's why I do what I do. This is why I do what I do. Thank you so much. I'm very honored that you're following along. Stay tuned. Not sure where we're going to next. All right. Y'all come back now, you hear?